Now this is just a super prompt, impromptu uh, video to come on and show you these journal packs. Those of you that are on my Facebook group or my Instagram page will have seen a sneak peek of these previously. I have no idea how well you're going to receive these so I've actually only made five packs up. I'm fully aware that other people do these, um, obviously Mr Holtz, lovely Timmy, he's been doing them for a very long time and they're beautiful, but they are quite expensive, um, or at least I think they're quite expensive um, and if I was to buy every one that I wanted I'd be, you know, looking for a bank loan. So. With that in mind, I've tried to make mine a little bit different, and the way that I've tried to make them different, well, I've got one open here, so let me show you. So I've not sealed this one up, so if I put my hand in, and I pull out all of these pieces, now there are 62 pieces in the pack, it comes in this cellophane envelope with a piece of card and the title on the front. And I'm going to flip it over to look at the back first because in here you have got vintage papers you've got die cuts because I thought you know it's become apparent with some of my videos that a lot of you obviously don't have all of the die cuts that are available or the dies to make the cuts we all opt for the die that's going to give us the most use so you know I thought it might be nice to offer die cuts and um, if you haven't got those dies that's Bo having a good old bark sorry about that um, if you haven't got the dies then obviously it's an option for you to have them but we also as I say, have vintage papers so this is um, a vintage piece um, it's Christmas 1978 and it's what's known as a first day cover and it's got that stamp on it now obviously because of the vintage pieces these kits are all slightly different but the same you know what I mean by that they'll all have something like this in they will all have a vintage written text page they've all got a vintage diary page this is the 15th of May 1909 it's got some writing on it and some plain and you can actually see the watermark through the paper you've then got one of these beautiful little note cards again quite not necessarily vintage but definitely you know old there's one piece of this brownie colored music paper so they're ideal kits for beginners if you like there are some papers just for backgrounds and tearing up there are some scanned images now I actually have this tea card book so this is from 1937 I've got the original and I've done some scans and this one is one of the pages with some of the cards that are in it and then uh, that's the vintage section or most of it and then you've got two of these photo frames and these are done on vintage style paper pad papers you've got whoops two of the Tim Holtz die to stuff the ephemera in and they again have been done on paper pad papers remember they'll all be slightly different they won't necessarily all be these colors you've then got two of these replica vintage advertising cards you've got two of the stickers from the grabby company you've got two of the die cut frames you have got whoops three of these these are the negative pieces that go with the photo frames you've got three of those there's two of these little tiny cards there's a photo frame 
here's small vintage here you've got one two three four I just suddenly realize am i off screen no you're fine of the cigarette cards and then you've got two of the shaped plates from the die you've got one of these tickets that's perforated and that's on like obviously embossed paper there's another one of those die frames and there's a frame from a plate there's a tiny tag there I just want to bring it a little bit closer to make sure you can see everything there's two of these tiny dictionary pages there's another little tag there there's two ticker stickets ticker stickets <laughs> ticket stickers oh my goodness that was funny wasn't it you've got two sticker stamps there's another Tim Holtz die there again you won't necessarily have that one but you will have one there is a thick card blue number letter and a thick blue card number goodness me I'm in a bad way aren't I there are two of those tiny butterfly squares there's a ticket shape there's a D on like a scrabble tile and a number one on a scrabble tile there are two of these I can't pick them up <laughs> two of these <clears throat> washi stickers that one I won't tell you what they are because they're going to be different in each of the packs there are one two three four jigsaw pieces there's another butterfly and then there is one two three four three letters die cut and one number and that I say 62 pieces on the pack but I think when I counted them in there was actually nearer 68 I wanted to make sure that I hadn't short measured anyone whoops no, that's not gone underneath there has it look get under there that's it I wanted to make sure that I didn't short measure anyone and that you had exactly the right number so now that I've shown you that one I'm gonna seal it up and I'm gonna run on over and list these five on my Etsy shop so if anybody's interested you see that one's got a slightly different frame in it there and it's got a number eight and it's got different um, cardstock that's a very different style of music paper um, that one looks very similar to one I just showed you this is obviously different historic cards different dictionary words different color picture frame so they're all slightly different but they are the site you know what I mean by that um, I'm gonna run on over I'm gonna list them in my Etsy shop for anybody that's interested and these 62 pieces are going to be six pounds okay so if you want to go and have a look you can go and have a look at them and this afternoon I'm going to try and get the interesting papers books finished and these interesting paper books they are just over A5 size as you can see they're going to be ring bound down this side there are 32 papers and they are all originals there are no scans no copies they're all originals and they're all vintage of some kind so I have done a card cover which I've collaged up for you so that will be the cover and then you have got ledger paper you've got two of those you see this one would obviously if you want the lines going the right way be that way this one would be up you've got one of those bank book pages you've got used ledger page again twice okay you've got 
a different kind of ledger paper that's been used. You've got one, two pages. No, you haven't. I'm lying. You've got three pages from my Sears book. So they've got lots of interesting bits that can be cut out. You've got music papers. So you've got one that's like a buff colour and one that's white. And this one obviously you've got closer music on it. You've got a diary page, 1909. You've got some coffee dyed baking paper. You've got an advert out of that vintage legal book from 1969. And then you've got another page out of that book. You've got one of these like um, alphabet flip pages. You've got the actual, you know, another page from the law book. You've got a ledger type page from the same law book that's got notes on the other side. This is from my director's book and this is August 27th, 1911. And then you've got, this is from Cassell's. So this has got the most beautiful foxing on it. Yeah. Uh, this is also from Cassell's. And it's got like lovely image there. This one also has got an image and text. Then there's one with a very large image, text, and another large-ish image and text. This one's not Cassell's, this is a different paper. And this is from the same one as that one. Again, a nice image and some text. And then you've got Home Chat. This is 1898. And you've got two of those. And then you've got two different mulberry papers. This one's quite spotty and it's like a blue and a pink. This one is a purple onion skin. And then you've got a thick one of my personal handmade papers. So they're all originals. There are no scans. And they will also be six pounds. And they will also be going in to my Etsy this afternoon. If you're wanting to buy one of each, then I'm gonna be offering free postage. So if I see that it will, Etsy will charge you the postage, but when I see in your cart that you've got one of each, I will refund the postage for you. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe. I'll be back again very soon. Bye-bye for now.